Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm not sure if you saw the last episode, but we talked about drum icons. And today, this episode, we're going to continue that idea. And we're going to talk about a huge drumming icon named Keith Moon. Sometimes also known as Moon the Loon. But we're going to talk about why did he get that nickname and what's so awesome about his drumming. Here we go. Keith John Moon was born on August 23, 1946 in Middlesex, England. Keith took up drums in the early 1960s, and by 1964, Moon joined The Who before they recorded their first single. He remained with the band during their rise to fame, and was quickly recognized for his drumming style. Moon used many cymbal crashes and fills while emphasizing tom-toms within his thunderous beats. And he was also one of the earliest drummers to use two bass drums. You could say the size of his kit grew with their popularity. So how did Keith get the name Moon the Loon? Well, you could say he had quite a destructive side, and he really got a kick out of things exploding, you know, kind of like toilets and bass drums. The explosion caused a momentary breakdown in transmission across America. Pete Townsend claimed he was left permanently deaf in one ear, and a flying symbol sliced into Moon's arm. The list of antics that Keith Moon had in his off time was far too large for me to list. Let's just say that Keith Moon's drumming was as dynamic as his personality. This drummer really knew the right feel to bring to the throne. But unfortunately, Keith left us too soon at the age of 32 because of his bombastic lifestyle. To this day, Keith Moon's explosive drumming style is coveted as one of rock's best. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed all that information about Keith Moon and his wild style. So in honor of Keith Moon, we're going to do something fun today. We're going to trash a drum set. 